Welcome back to another Cool Loser Tech video. And here I have a product review called the Portable Monitor. As you can see, it's an on lap version. Some of you guys know I went to CES 2016 this year and I ran into a lot of cool stuff there. And this is one of them that I really wanted to get my hands on with. I will show you more, but let me put this to the side and see what else is inside. We got an HDMI port for our TV or monitors, and we have a micro HDMI on the other end. US adapter and a micro USB to two and the power source. And there we go. And the key chick manual here. Got some straps here to maintain the cables. English. Okay, so here's the Geek Chick monitor. It's very light, it's not going to be heavy. Let's remove these stickers. Whew. Now this back plate will also serve as a stand, standing around like this. It looks like a tablet for sure. We got headphones, micro HDMI, VGA, and DC in. Nothing on the left side, nothing on the bottom, and nothing on the top. This should be really easy to detach. There you go. And these will be the power indications. Let's get the power here. We have two different type of sources here. Now I have a portable charger here. I'm gonna try to see if this will power, but let's see if it works. Oh wow, it's actually working. Look at that. So I won't have to be plugged into an outlet. I could be completely away from power outlet. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my HP Chromebook. I'm gonna plug in the HDMI here. Look at in, look at in. I'm gonna plug this into the HDMI port. There we go. Plugged in. Remember, you got cable straps to adjust yourself. And I'm going to open up my Chromebook. And look at that. Right away, I'm using another monitor display here to monitor Panasonic G7 can display what's happening here. So here it is. It's an extension display. Is it touch screen? No, it is not. Let's bring the mouse over to, to there it is. Zoom down into it. But the cursor is right there. So now I'm guessing these are touch sensitive. There we go. As we can see, it's moving up and down. Good English. And there we have it. Let's press this again. You get display settings, move over color settings, aspect ratio, manual image adjustment, there's the volume, OSD menu, position, this input source, VGA to HDMI. Now I'm going to grab this and bring it over to this side. Yeah. And I have to say the viewing angle where it's at right now, I'm like walking around it to see how it is and it has really good like it doesn't fade out it's like almost like an e-ink type of display here it's playing there full screen nice now right now the quality of my internet is pretty low but let me show you the display differences between now the glossy one will have that big glare it's really a preference but I can show you here that the glare is more apparent and you can see the display on the HP fades out into this kind of purple tint that when you look at a certain angles you can't read it at all now on this monitor you can see the lights are more forgiving which you can look at and the angles remain so much better than what my HP monitor was doing Yes, it does have the little tinting at certain points, but not even close to what the HP will, and I can still be able to use it if I was in a weird, awkward angle. And this is much lighter than my Chromebook. This is exciting, it's super light. I have it all here in the station if I was traveling. I got my laptop powered by itself, this powered by itself. I bet you anything it'll also power without this. I'm going to plug it in straight to my Chromebook. And there we go, there's power enough there. It's gonna turn on, of course we're plugged in. And there we go. Eventually you'll be able to rig yourself up on a good platform where you can have an extended monitor like this. Of course this is a 1080p display. You're not getting no 720p, no anything lower. Your speaker is right back here. You can take off this little other sticker that's in the back of it as well. I just don't need to right now. Perfect example if I'm going to be using a monitor like this. If I'm facing this monitor and I want you guys to see what's happening, I can use this for the one that I'll be showcasing. I'm going to drag it over here. 
so the opposite way you can change that and I'm going to type in the cool as you see I'm using a keyboard instead of having to use my keyboard here if I don't want to reach or I want to close this lid I can use this all here and I can still read it at the angle that I am in so I'm just gonna close this up and everything's gonna go right to this one page so it's not gonna be two pages anymore and I can move that to the side and then we got something like this where I can navigate let's go to the pictures see what comes up so I'm able to use this like this and show you what's happening it's a great idea for doing tutorials instead of having to face your camera a certain way that you might not get a good angle for as you see it's perfectly working and also the fact that I could be using this as my background I don't want to lay my phone completely on the screen so for example I'm just gonna set this down there if I press hard on it it doesn't freak the screen out so you do have that flex in order for you to hit and it's not gonna disorientate itself this type of video here I'm gonna bring the camera and I can have as a background the angle works for me I think it's cool having it flush to the table this monitor has been great I haven't felt it heat up it never flickered on me I've been using it for a whole day I even edited video from my actual PC and even watch a lot of videos on here and the speaker on the back is not very great because there's a tiny one in the back and I put headphones in and it sounds just as good but yeah it definitely was my internet yesterday that it was crapping out and this is the speaker I use for the background of my videos when I record so that's now my audio source and 1080p it's not even 4k so it gets even better than that And even 1080p from this distance looks very good. So anyway, you can plug in your Xbox, your PS4, your Nvidia Shield, your Nexus player, whatever has a display port to connect into, you can transfer it into this. So this is your monitor, your TV, your computer, your whatever you want to do. It's just in a convenient way to make yourself portable with this monitor. I think it's great. You guys are going to love it. They also have different styles and different things that you can do with the monitors and this is just one that I got my hands on with. So if you would like one for yourself, you can find it in the description down below. And as always, enjoy it if you get it. And I will see you guys next time. Later.